Hey guys, and welcome to another weekly vlog. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. We are going to be doing kind of just a bunch of different things this week. I picked up the camera today. It is not the beginning of a new week. It's actually Friday before the week that this vlog is going to go up. This vlog is going to go up like mid-December, but today is Friday, November. No, Lord Jesus. It is December 3rd on Friday. I cannot think, but I wanted to show you guys the biggest difference, the biggest change. I don't know if you can realize or if you can tell. This is my beauty room. And you guys know that the lighting in this room is awful. It's god awful. But when I tell you all hell has risen over and we are in heaven, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. So I went to Target today with my boyfriend. We went to Bath and Body Works today because today is um, the best day ever when their candles are all $10. All three of the candles are $10. I will show you guys a haul um, probably later. I'm gonna do like a little mini haul because I ordered a bunch of different stuff through Black Friday. So once everything comes, I will show you guys everything that I got. But that's what we're doing. And we stopped at Target because I wanted to get some lights for this room because you guys know I changed my bulb. So these are the lights I picked up from Target. They were like 15 bucks, but they're on sale for 13. You get four of these, so screenshot this if you want to. But let me show y'all this. Let me, let me, let me show y'all this. Look. Do you see? First of all, I don't even know if I can focus, but that is my light that I have up there. There are eight bulbs. This is the new light fixture that I told you guys about. But look at how bright this room is. Like, look at how bright it is. Literally, like, world of a difference. First of all, I only had two lights in there, and they were yellow. So the fact that this is white light, and it's just, like, so bright. Like, if I turn the light off, look at that. Look, look at that difference. Like, it is so crazy, and I'm so excited. I'm I'm just hopping on work. This is a meeting, but I just had to get on here to show you guys because I'm so excited. Like, I don't have to worry. I don't even think I'm going to get a soft box anymore. Let me focus. I don't even think I'm going to need to get a soft box, those big umbrella lights, because it's so bright in here. Like, I'm so excited to film. I'm going to film a couple videos this weekend, and I know for a fact I'm going to love, love the way it looks. I'm so excited. <laughs> so happy dance, happy dance, happy dance. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, but I need to work. I need to get and go to work. So I'll talk to you guys in a, in a bit. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day. I am sitting in my beauty room floor because I wanted to do a little haul. I was going to wait until I got everything that I ordered for Black Friday, but F it. I'm just going to show you guys as I get them. So yesterday it was, yesterday and today it was Bath and Body Works candle sale, which I think they do once a year with the candles. All three candles are $10. And <clears throat> let's just say <laughs> that your girl went a little nuts, okay? Well, really, I didn't go crazy. I strategize. When it comes to shopping, y'all need to strategize. I don't want ever buy things full price. Like, it's very, very small chance that I buy things full price. I always wait for sales or I just wait when things are discounted. So whenever it comes to Bath and Body Works, I always stock up on candles when they have sales. So I always wait for their sale, like they just had the $10 one. Sometimes they do one when it's like 12 bucks, but anytime they drop any of those sales, I buy like 10 plus candles because I'm not going to keep buying candles back and forth, if that makes sense. So I like to buy in bulk when things are on sale because I feel like you just save more money in the long run. And then I also had a Zara order come in. So I was like, you know what, let me, Pull out the camera, show the girls and the boys what I got. It is Saturday evening. It is the 4th. I got off work like two, three hours ago. It's what time is it? <laughs> I lied. I got off work like an hour and a half ago. I'm drinking a Marg, a margarita, frozen margarita that William made. If you hear men yelling, just know downstairs is a very serious game going on right now. It is a game between Alabama and Georgia. And my boyfriend is a Georgia fan. I'm a Georgia fan too, but I'm not like a go hard, you know, like my emotions are invested. I just like them. Him on the other hand, he is invested. Okay. When they lose, he loses. 
So he's a Georgia fan, and then my friend Anderson. <laughs> Do you hear that? Y'all hear that? <laughs> my friend Anderson is an Alabama fan. Why my boyfriend would have a fan of the opposite team over doesn't make sense. He's stupid. But <laughs> if you hear screaming like you just heard, that's dumb. I had to, I, when they have games like that, I personally, I'm going to pull myself away and I'm going to go do my own thing. I'm going to do my own shit because I got time for them popping off, okay? So I'm here with y'all because I'm not about to deal with that mess. So let's just start with Zara because I only got two things with Zara. Zara did a 40% off sale for Black Friday. I looked through everything that they have. Wasn't really feeling much, but I did pick up two knit um, dresses. I really, really love Zara's knits. Zara's knits, fire. Beautiful quality, very chic, very thick, very high end. I just love Zara's knits. They're great. So they had these dresses that were on sale and they're long dresses and i was like these are perfect for fall and winter well really winter because now it's winter it's not even fall anymore but this is the first dress that i got so it's like a it's like a not a turtleneck but you know it's like a high neck um dress it was originally 35 dollars 90 cents but they were on sale for 19 or 18 bucks it was less than 20. So I got this size, it has small, extra small, small, and medium and large. I got medium and large because in Zara, I wear a large in the bottom, which is crazy, but I've gone back and forth with a lot of sizes. Large is what fits me because I got hips and I got a booty. And Zara, let's be honest with you, is not, does not favor people who have curves. So you always gotta size up. So this is a pretty long dress. It's one of those like midi dresses. As you can see, it's it's a ribbed material, but it's like a sweater. So it's not super duper thick, but it's, I feel like a nice quality for winter time when you wanna wear a dress, but you don't wanna be extremely cold. So I got that in this nice cream taupey color. And then I got the same thing in black because what is Lorraine gonna do? Get the same thing in black in a neutral color because that's all I freaking wear. I don't know why, I will never, not like neutrals like my entire closet at this point is becoming neutrals and i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it i really am not <laughs> that's just what i love and i feel like it's just most flattering and you can wear it anywhere and it just looks good on everyone so i got the same thing in black so i just picked up those two knit dresses that's all i got i'm cutting myself off i told myself this year i chopped so much for clothing but it was for a good reason when i moved out of my parents house I literally did not bring anything with me like I brought the bare minimum I wanted to start fresh I want to start my wardrobe fresh I want to start everything fresh so I've kind of like been I've been rebuilding my closet and like my wardrobe with good quality stuff that I really love as well as my style has been changing it's becoming more sophisticated more I don't know more grown up <laughs> so I've just been trying to build my wardrobe with good quality pieces that are going to last a long time so i don't have to keep constantly buying things over and over and over if that makes sense so i've been doing a lot of shopping i think i have pretty much everything i need do not need to be shopping as much as i did this year definitely not doing that next year so that's what i got from zara now to the candles 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 so i picked up some of my favorites and i also picked up some new ones because i feel like i've been very redundant for the candles that i've been burning and i wanted to try some new ones out so of course, I picked up a flannel because I love flannel and it's just, it's a beautiful fall and winter candle. So I had to get a backup of that. Mind you, I still have a couple candles left from like the last candle video that I did. I still have like maybe three or four candles left from that um, haul that I did. That was the last time I purchased like a bunch of Bath and Body Works candles in bulk. So I picked up another flannel. I did pick up this new one. This is the Into the night i believe this is like a perfume that they actually have and william picked it up oh yeah i dragged william to the store with me because if you thought i was about to be carrying this bag with myself hell no nah. <laughs> that is what your man is for <laughs> i'm just messing with you but no he did want to come with me and i was like okay perfect he can carry the bag <laughs> as i pick up stuff and put it in in the bag but anyways he picked up into the night he was like oh smell this and i was like 
Uh oh, uh, okay, this is giving. It's like sexy, moody, vibey. I don't even know how to. It's. It, I feel like this is an all year round candle. If you if you go into Bath and Body Works, smell into the night. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have this as like a body spray or a body lotion. If you like this, try it out in a candle because it's fire. I cannot wait to burn this in the house. It smells so good. So I actually got two of those, and then I also picked up another candle. I feel like I've burned this before, like two years ago, but I can't remember. But I picked up the mahogany coconut. I thought this would be nice when it's like the end of winter transitioning into spring. I love mahogany candles. Mahogany teak wood is the classic. I like the intensity version because I'm just, y'all know me. I just love intense shit. So I like that one. But this mahogany coconut, that coconut just makes it more creamy. So if you really like mahogany teak wood or mahogany intense, try the mahogany coconut. It's the same kind of vibe, but it's more creamier more like um it's just more creamier it's more softer it's not as like boom in your face like this is a very it's still strong but more warm and creamy so mm, smells so good i got two of those and then i also picked up two marshmallow fireside you guys already know about marshmallow fireside that is a classic i always have to have those regardless so I got two of those as backups. And then I also got two mahogany teak wood intenses, like I just said. This is a classic as well. You can burn this all year round. Beautiful, very strong, very sexy, cologne-ish kind of scent. That's how me and William like our house, our place is smell. But I got two of those. And then lastly, I got a new scent. Me and William both really like this. This is Berry Berry Mary Mimosa. So we picked it up and I was like, mm -mm. like it's it's very, it's different from what we normally get, but it I feel like I've smelled this in my mom's house before. I feel like I've smelled this in her house before. But this is basically, it says a sparkling champagne, red apple slices, ice sugar crystals. So it's just like a, it's a nice, not even like a bathroom candle. It's not necessarily clean, but it's, it's fresh, but a little sweet, but also like, I don't even know. It's fresh and sweet. That's what I say, it's fresh and sweet. It's it's something that I can tolerate because I'm not really a, fa a fan of super duper fresh, clean kind of scents. I feel like they're a little too, you know, just too sharp if that makes any sense. But I like this one, so I picked that up and that was it. I, in total, I got 10 candles. <laughs> Which is not bad because they were each on sale for $10. So I spent $100 on candles, but I am not going to have to buy these candles for a really, really long time. So I suggest if you are ever wanting to purchase Bath & Body Works candles, wait until they do their sales. They usually do most of their sales around this time of the year. So like Black Friday, um, Christmas. I believe they do. They also do their semi-annual sale. Usually those are like down to $15, which I do feel like they do that all the time. But their biggest, biggest sales are like around this time of the year. So if you're a candle lover like me, wait and stock up at this time because you're just going to save more of your money. And who doesn't like to do that? Yeah, I'm just going to go chill for the rest of the night. It's Saturday. I want to have a relaxing night. I'm probably going to finish watching Sex and the City. I've been, oh my gosh, I've been loving watching Sex and the City, y'all. I have been, because this, I do things so backwards. I never watched Sex and the City, the show. I always watch the movies. And then this year, I found out, or I saw that they're coming out with a sh the show, like a new or updated version of the show. And I was like, yo, why have I ever never watched the show? I love the movies. So I started this se the show from season one. I am now almost done with season three. I think I have like three more seasons left, but I'm trying to finish all the actual seasons of the show before I watch the new season of the new updated show, if that makes sense. So I've kind of been watching that and I've been loving it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm probably gonna do that for the rest of the night, relax, get um, finish working my video that's gonna go up tomorrow, which is the Natasha Denona review. So like I said, it'll probably be up before this video. So watch it if you haven't already, if you wanna see that. But yeah i will see you guys i guess tomorrow it is the next day wait actually no it's not it is the day after the next day 
you last saw me on Saturday. It is now Monday, December 6th. I just got in a couple packages, so I wanted to open them for you guys. These are all things that I ordered um, during Black Friday weekend, so things I wanted to stock up on, all that stuff, Gucci. It's been a very chill day. I don't know if you guys can see outside, but it's been very rainy and gloomy. Yesterday, I was not feeling well. I had a headache, so I was kind of in bed all day just chilling. I haven't had one of those days where I'm just like not doing anything at all. Like this was the first weekend that I did not have anything planned to do anything. So, oops, excuse me. So I took advantage. It felt weird because I'm always used to like doing stuff, filming, doing this, doing that, but I didn't do, like I haven't done anything. So it's it's been nice just relaxing because it has been a while since I've done that. But today, since I didn't, I wasn't really productive yesterday, today I got up around 8, I cleaned the entire house. I'm talking about upstairs, downstairs, all the bathrooms, vacuumed the whole house. The only thing that isn't cleaned is the dishes, which is not that much. I, I did literally the entire house. I was so tired, but I just wanted to clean the house. <laughs> I love organizing and cleaning and I just like wanted to start the week off fresh but that's all I really did this morning was just clean I just had some lunch I went and grabbed some Chipotle it's still raining it's gonna be raining all week which I'm not really upset about that I don't like the rain but we've also not had rain and I think over a month so it's been some time um but another reason why I'm gonna stay my butt in the house and not spend money well hopefully not spend money online <laughs> but yeah so it is two o'clock right now I'm um, just drinking a glass of wine. I just poured one. This is um, Menage a Trois. Let me show you guys the bottle. But this is the wine that I'm drinking. It's the Menage a Trois Cabernet Sauvignon Decadence. I'm not that picky when it comes to brands. I like to try new brands. Menage a Trois is a brand that I always like. They don't really fail me. And I am a fan of red wine and white. With red, I like Cabernets. I can do Merlots. I like red blends, more rich. I'm not a fan of sweet stuff, so I don't like sweet wines. I don't like Moscato. I don't like Stella Rosa. Ugh. If I want to drink wine, it's going to be real wine. <laughs> not shading the people that drink that stuff. I'm just not a fan of sweet drinks. Um, and then for whites, I like Pinot Grigio. Sometimes I'll do Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I don't like Chardonnay. So really, that's really it. But this is the glass of wine I'm drinking. And yes, it's 2 o'clock and I'm drinking wine because... I have done everything I need to do. I am chilling, I'm relaxing, I'm watching Sex in the City. It is a in the house kind of vibe. No makeup on, you know, everything. We just chilling, like straight up chilling. <laughs> so yeah, so I got the new Forever Mood um, winter collection. This is the Forget Me Not. This is the packaging, this is how it comes. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really, really bright. Okay, there we go. So it looks like that. And of course, if you back up my wine, you open it up and you have the four candles right here. So we're just gonna smell them. I haven't smelled any of them. I really, really, really love Forever Mood. You guys know one of my favorite um, black owned candle brands. Her candles are such good quality. The throat is out of this world. Like you need, all you need is one and literally my entire place smells like that one candle, upstairs and downstairs. But we're gonna go ahead and smell this. So first, let's do Cookie Coma. Let's see what these notes are. So this is how Cookie Coma looks like. So the scent Cookie Coma, top notes are almond and brown sugar. Heart is cinnamon and butter, and then the base is Tahitian vanilla. Let's see, I'm, I hope it's not really, really sweet, because I don't like super duper like cakey sweet. Oh, okay. This smells nice. It's not like, ah, man, she just, it's different. It's not, you think with the name of it, it's going to be like a cookie dough or something, but it's not. Wow, that smells really, really good. Okay, this is definitely like a kitchen candle. That smells good. I like that. The next one is To Live in Pine, which is this one right here. To Live in Pine, the top notes are tangerine, winterberry, and sparkling mint. The heart is Fur needle, clove and cinnamon, and base is pine, moss, and vanilla. I don't really have pine scented candles, so this will be interesting. Oh, okay. She's giving zesty. I like it. 
it's fresh done right because I'm not too fond of fresh scents I like them for like summer and spring but not like super duper fresh like clean linen-y I don't like that I still like that depth that base that warmthness to all my candles year round so it's like fresh but still like woody at the same time mmm yeah I like this oh yeah this one's really good wow okay I'm surprised I love when I get her candles because you think you're gonna smell one thing but it's completely different than <laughs> what you think it's gonna smell so this one is sneaky link and the notes are top notes are grapefruit lime and apple heart is cinnamon and violet and the base is amber vanilla and musk mm, mm -hmm. I get down with her this is nice oh my gosh I love this oh my gosh she always does such a great job like I don't ever smell any candle that smells like her candles like whoever helps her create these notes whoever is the nose behind these scents wow they just deserve an award because they always like come up with the most unique combination of notes and always make it smell so good and the last one is cabin fever it looks like this I love the tones of the candles I really like the tones that's another thing cabin fever is Top notes is mission fig, peach, mango, and tart lemon. The heart is apricot, honey, cinnamon, ginger root, sugared rose, and vanilla. Wait, no. Heart is apricot, honey, cinnamon, and ginger root. The base is sugared rose and vanilla. <sighs> mm. I like this. I can smell the, the peach in it. Okay. This is like a good bathroom I want to say not really bathroom but I like it I like all of them I'm actually genuinely thoroughly surprised and happy with all of them I really did okay that's a good collection if you guys have been wanting to pick this up I recommend it I like all of them so if you like some if you like scents that I do that I like I would say try it out because it's really good next I re-upped on some Desi skin because you guys know I love her serums and during Black Friday, her entire website was 25% off. And when I tell you, she does nev never does a sale. And her serum is expensive. It's like $64. So hell yes. I bought one, not one, but two. And another thing, because I was like, whenever you have those brands that have really, really good products that don't ever do sales, if they ever do a sale, just buy backups because you're most likely going to need to buy it again and why not buy it when it's on sale so i picked up her new product which is the desi mask on overnight moisture mask i wanted to try this out it's the most newest launch in her brand this is basically like a overnight mask for your skin so basically, like it's like a night moisturizer. This, this is an overnight mask. Not only delivers intense hydration, but also makes your skin appear firmer and tighter with AHAs and micro microalgae. The algae nourishes skin with essential amino acids, vitamin C and vitamin B12, plus three molecular weights of hyaluronic acid target different layers of the skin to bring moisture beyond surface level. Apply a generous layer to clean face and neck and wear overnight in the morning rinse face with warm water and feel the hydration layer melt off leaving behind soft supple glowing skin honey okay y'all all right we're gonna try this baby out tonight <laughs> and then of course <clears throat> i had to stock up on my vitamin c serum because i love it i feel like you go through this so quickly it's one ounce but like I just feel like you go through it so quickly. The Clarica C serum, you guys know I've been using the new, the glow recipe one. So I'm not going to open these until I finish that one. But I have these. I got two because like I said, her website was 25% off. So I was going to stock up on my favorite, one of my favorite vitamin C serums. So that's what I got from Desi Skin. Next we have this package from Irony Collection. These are, you guys know I really enjoy Iron Maid Collection. They make a lot of the jewelry that I wear. A lot of necklaces, a lot of earrings are from them. They specialize in gold filled jewelry, which basically is the next step above K2 
um, gold plated. Gold filled is just like a thicker layer of real gold, which means your products are going to last a lot longer than something that is gold plated. So I picked up a couple rings, as you can see in here. First off, these things look huge. It's like one of those things that's like a one size fits all, you could adjust it. So, okay. I definitely, did they give me a free ring? Hold on, wait a minute, honey. Uh, did I get a free ring? Because I think I only ordered four. Okay, I go the chunky, the chunky golden ring, got it. Gold bar, got it. The diamond nail, got it. And the cuff rope, got it. Oh my gosh, y'all, I got a free ring. Hey, it's lit. She got a free ring. She got a free ring. She got a free, free, a free ring. <laughs> I love when brands do that. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I mean, hey, I got a free ring. This is the first ring. I don't know if you guys can see it. Please focus. You guys see this ring? Oh my gosh, focus. Look at that, it's so pretty. And it has like diamonds on it. Stop focusing on my face. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, this is a ring. I'm covering my face so it doesn't focus on it. So it has like diamonds on it. It's so pretty. It reminds me of the Cartier, the Cartier nail ring. And that's why I got it, it's gorgeous. This is the second ring, it's like a chunky, rope kind of ring it looks like this all of these are one size fits all so you can adjust them but that's that one so i'll probably wear this on like my um my thumb and then i also got this one which is also like a rope kind of look but this one has like two diamonds on it or like two things the diamonds are going down. It's a different style than the other one that I just showed you guys. That's the ring right there. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these pieces. And this is how it looks like on my thumb. And then I got just a classic like gold bar. Looks like this. Just like that, it's like a regular gold bar. And then the last ring is the one that I did not order but they threw in, so I'm not complaining. Um, this, this one is a bit, it's cute, I like it. It has like a, it's like a chain kind of look. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a chain kind of, and it has diamonds all over it. So pretty. I'm gonna take a video with the light, with like a flashlight on my phone and insert it so you guys can see how all of the rings look like with like, a flashlight so let me go ahead and do that okay here you go this is how the rings actually look like so pretty gosh they are gorgeous love it love it love it love it love it so those are the rings I will link them down below for you guys so yeah that was definitely a great buy I'm super happy about those and I'm so happy they gave me an extra ring how fun Lastly, we have a package from DSMD sponges because I had to stock up on some more sponges because these are the only ones that I use. I got two more of the brown ones that I use all the time on my channel. So I picked up two more of those and I also picked up two of the black sponges. And I will make sure that I link all this stuff down below. So if you guys want to check them out, you can. I raise about these sponges literally all the time they're the only sponges that i use favorite 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 so affordable and it's black on you can't get any better than that so this is their information definitely follow them on instagram and i will link the website down below so you guys can pick up some of your own and that was it that was my little haul um i pretty much have everything delivered let me see if there's anything else that needs to be delivered the only other stuff that I purchased were Christmas gifts, which I'm not gonna show because I don't want William to watch this video and know what he's getting. <laughs> um, I ordered some Lily lashes, those are coming tomorrow, so I'll show you guys those. And that's pretty much it. Everything pretty much came, so yeah. Um, I'll show you the last package that I get tomorrow. And I'm just gonna go relax, finish drinking my glass of wine. 
finish watching um, Sex and the City because I'm trying to finish the whole entire show before the new one comes out because it comes out on um, December 9th. I'm going to go ahead and finish watching that and I will catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, it's the next day. I am currently working. Um, as you can see, okay, this is the benefits of working from home. This right here, first hand benefits. There are some cons, but baby, there are more pros and cons. I got a couple more packages, of course. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys what I got. I feel like this entire vlog is me just hauling stuff. Like literally, this entire vlog is me just showing you a bunch of shit that I got over the past like week or two. <laughs> so if you like hauls, if you like unboxings, well, you're gonna love this vlog. If not, I am so sorry. <laughs> but it's been really, really chill. It's like I said this week, um, it's Tuesday. The weather isn't really that great. So, and I work during the week anyway. So my weekdays are pretty redundant and kind of boring. So I just want to show you guys my realistic day-to-day -day stuff. Y'all, so yesterday, me and William exchanged our one Christmas gift. It was my idea. I didn't think he would be down for it. But I was like, hey, do you want to, like, I already have, like, most of your gifts. I was like, do you want to, like, do an early Christmas gift? And he was like, okay. So we exchanged. I, I got one, and he got one, and that's it. We're going to open everything else on Christmas Day. But this is the gift that he got me or that he gave me first. I've been wanting a robe so badly, y'all. Like, I have been wanting a robe so bad. And I was looking at some um, during Black Friday on H&M, because I was gonna get one. You know that like waffle cone material? Yeah. And then he was like, no, I just wait, you know, wait for a different robe, more nicer quality. Little did I know this nigga already got me a robe. <laughs> But yeah, this is a really, really nice robe. It's white, which I want to go back and get a darker color because I love this white, but I'm like, I need a dark color too. But it's so nice. I don't know if you guys can see it. This robe is from Brooklinen. I don't, um, have you guys heard of Brooklinen? Brooklinen is a really, really, really nice um, company. They do a lot of bedding, loungewear, robes, things like that. But I'm pretty sure you've heard of Brooklinen, but... That's where this robe is from. It's the waffle cone robe. It comes with pockets. And it's so plush and so warm and so thick. And I just love it. And I told myself, I was like, I'm wearing this all day tomorrow. And yes, I've been wearing it all day because one, it's cold as hell outside. And two, I don't feel like putting clothes on. So yes, I'm going to stay in a robe all day. <laughs> um, but let me show you guys what it is that got delivered today. Okay, so I got my package for Misguided. I only got two things. Um, I got a sweater dress and like this sweater turtleneck-ish. I'll show you guys the sweater dress first. As you guys saw, I got the stuff from Zara. I got those two dresses. I saw this one. I'm gonna insert a picture here, right here, of one of these influencers that I follow. She's a fashion lifestyle influencer and I was like oh my god that is so cute I want it so I went on misguided and I got it <laughs> oh this is kind of long okay but I love the tone it's like a gray camel kind of color and then it has this really nice slit on the side I just feel like this is gonna be so pretty I'm gonna insert like I said I'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see a better look a better idea of how it looks and like how you can style it but I got that and I picked this up in a size medium and then I got this cute sweater. Neutrals and are my thing. So when you see a lot of neutrals, just do not be surprised because that's what I love and that's what I wear. So I just thought this was so cute. It's a turtleneck sweater. It's a beautiful like nice uh, brown kind of color and I just thought it would be so cute. It's just a turtleneck sweater. It's short sleeve. I've actually been liking a lot more short sleeve sweater type things because it allows me to layer things on top without getting too hot but still staying warm, if that makes sense. So I picked this up. I thought this would be so cute with like some nice navy like blue, like light blue jeans, 
some cute like sneakers you know just a vibe so i got that it feels really really nice i like that and then i did pick up some lashes because I, I ran out of all my lashes but lily lashes was having 50 percent off everything so i ordered because i needed lashes and lily lashes are pricey so them being half off is great and i've worked with lily lashes before and i know their lashes are so good quality and they last forever so i could wear the same lash up to 30 times so i know they're gonna last for a long time so this is miami this is actual 3d mink um they i also got this one called prenup so pretty that one's in mink i also got another miami this one is in faux mink and then i got the style hollywood and then they also gave us this free lash i guess when you ordered a certain amount or ordered over 35 dollars you got a free lash so i got this other lash which is in 3d mink these are very thick i don't know where i would wear these outside of place and it also came with the free power liquid liner so that was cool and then lastly i got some stuff from ula henriksen i saw this this was very last minute if you guys follow me on ig which you should i don't know why you don't but i did post that over the weekend ula henriksen was having an additional 40 percent off all their sale items and there were two things on there that i love and that i use that were discounted in price and now were additional 40 percent off so i was like i don't need this but i'm getting it as a backup in stock the first thing is the ula henriksen glow toner dark spot toner you guys know i rave about this all the time this is my gym this is my ish this it was 20 it was on sale for 22 dollars after 40 percent off it was 13 dollars for the biggest jumbo size which is 10 dollars i mean which is 10 ounces normally this costs you like 34 35 dollars so did i need this no because i still have another one just like this which is like a little bit almost halfway but hell yeah i'm stocking up so i don't have to buy this again for like another two years and then the other thing that i picked up was this this is their vitamin this is a c vitamin c skincare set so it comes with a full size banana bright um C gel cream, which I love, full size vitamin C serum, which I love, as well as their um, eye cream. All of these products I absolutely love. This was on sale for $39, and then after the 40% off, it was like $22. $22 for three full size products, honey. The serum alone by itself is normally $65. So, like I said, I hopped on it, I did not need them. But now I have backups, so I will not need to purchase any skincare stuff for a long time. Because I have more than enough. More, more, more than enough. But knowing myself, I'll probably buy something. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all I got today. I'm just going to go back and finish working. Um, it's a pretty chill day, like I said, not doing much. So, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Or maybe tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I might cook some dinner. I don't know. I don't know we'll see but yeah i'll talk to you guys in a little bit good morning it is a couple of days later it's saturday today um december 11th it is early it's 7 41 a.m i've been awake since like 6 15 6 30 because let me tell y'all let me tell y'all the craziness of my life okay i don't understand what it is about being an adult but i feel like i'm having more shit happen to me the older i get rather than me being <laughs> But um, I'm keeping it down because William is still sleeping, obviously. But essentially, yesterday, I had to go to the hospital. I had to go to the emergency room of that because I had a terrible, a terrible allergic reaction. I don't know to what. It started, I believe, Thursday night because my ears felt odd. Like, they just felt swollen or, like, like muffy. I don't know how to describe it, but... I went to sleep. I was itching a little bit, but I just thought it was, you know, just random. Like if something bites you or whatever. Y'all, let me tell y'all, I wake up Friday morning. I am itching everywhere. Like my back, everything, just everything. My scalp, everything is itching. I go to the bathroom and I look at myself and I was like, <laughs> I 
I lifted my shirt and when I tell you, you guys know how allergic reaction is when you get like break out in hives and it's like whelps all over your body. It was like that and I freaked the fuck out because mind you, I've never had an allergic reaction. I've never been allergic to anything my entire life. Nothing has ever set my body off. I do know as you get older, you know, you can build reactions to things. So anyways, I took Benadryl all day yesterday, like twice. Obviously, it made me really drowsy. I hate when the fridge does that. I took Benadryl yesterday and it got a little bit better. The itchiness and the burning feeling like kind of went down a little bit. And then I took it a couple hours like, later, like maybe five, six hours later. And when I tell you like everything flared up again, like it was worse. This time it was way worse in the morning. It was like 10 times worse. It was spreading all up my chest. My entire chest was covered in hives. It was red, my stomach, my back. Luckily, it didn't spread on my arms. It was spreading a little bit on my thighs, but it was really mainly like my upper torso. It was all on my neck. My neck looked so bumpy and it was trying to work its way up to my face. That's when I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. We need to go to the hospital. So I went to the hospital yesterday. I was there for a couple hours. Um, they, you know, admit, they admitted me for, uh, to just keep a lookout. So hopefully like nothing swells or anything like that. My, clo my throat doesn't close up. Luckily that didn't happen, but they gave me everything they needed. They gave me like Benadryl, steroids, all that stuff. I'm so happy I did that because I can only imagine how I would be today if I didn't go to the hospital yesterday. It was crazy. Like I feel so much better. My body is back to normal. I don't have any hives on me. It's still kind of a little bit red, but it's mainly back to normal. Um, I have like a slight headache. So I took some, um, I took some, what is it called? Excedrin for that. And I'm also, and on top of that, I'm on my period. I'm like, God damn, like, can I, can I live? Anyways, but yeah, that's what happened yesterday. So I've been away for a couple days. The last time you guys saw me was probably like Wednesday or Tuesday. Can't remember. But yeah, I'm just about to make some coffee. Today I'm off. Normally I work on Saturdays, but I'm off because we're supposed to be going dress shopping for my mom. She is engaged. Um, so we're going, uh, this is going to be the first dress shopping with her and all of her bridesmaids. I'm one of them. We're going to look for dresses for her, obviously. So I'd find dresses for us. So we're going to do that. But I've been up really, really early. I think because I was sleeping a lot yesterday because of the medicine. So I'm not surprised about that, but I like waking up early. So I got myself together, did my hair in this little cute messy bun. Um, this is a dress from Zara that I showed you guys earlier in the vlog. Let me show you like the full, the full thing. So this is a dress from Zara. So it goes pretty, pretty low. As you can see, I have some socks because I'm gonna wear some cute tennis shoes, but this is a dress from Zara. This is how it looks on. If they still have it, I will try to link it down below for you guys, but I'm wearing that. I'll show you guys the fit before I go, but I'm just about to make some coffee, drink some water, kind of relax, and wait for my mother to call me because I know she's going to call me. <laughs> I'm probably going to end the vlog here. The vlog is going to end today, by the way, so I just wanted to give you guys a recap on where I've been the last couple days. <sighs> so that's been my life. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog here because I'm about to leave the house. This is the coat that I ended up wearing. It's the same coat that I showed you guys last time. It's from Zara, just in the camel color that I was telling you guys about that I wanted to get. So came back in stock, so I snatched it up. And then I have these Adidas um, Stan Smiths in all white. So this is the fit for today. It's got some rings on and, oh Jesus. And that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you made it to the end. If you did, I appreciate you so, so, so much. And I'm glad that you are liking the vlogs that I'm putting out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for more lifestyle and vlogs for me. And make sure you comment down below. Let me know what else you guys would like to see from me before the year is over. I do have a couple video ideas that I'm already starting to work on. But I always love to get your opinion and what you like to see. So let me know down below. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure you tap that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.